We will not leave the future of peace and the security of America in the hands of this cruel and dangerous man. None of us here today desire to see military conflict because we know the awful nature of war. Our country values life and never seeks war unless it is essential to security and to justice. America's leadership and willingness to use force confirmed by the Congress is the best way to ensure compliance and avoid conflict. America's leadership and willingness to use force confirmed by the Congress is the best way to ensure compliance and avoid conflict. Saddam must disarm, period. If, however, he chooses to do otherwise, if he persists in his defiance, the use of force may become unavoidable. The course of action may bring many sacrifices, yet delay, indecision, and inaction could lead to a massive and sudden horror. By timely and resolute action, we can defend ourselves and shape a peaceful future. Good afternoon. Let me begin by saying that the you all know that we have a lot of differences on many issues. We disagree on many domestic issues. But this is the most important thing that we do. This should not be about politics. We have to do what is right for the security of our nation and the safety of all Americans. The moment of truth has arrived for Saddam Hussein. This is his last chance and the best chance for the international community to come together behind the rule of law and to show that resolutions of the United Nations are worth more than the paper that they are written on. Colleagues, America is always led in the cause. America is always led in the cause of freedom. Uh, Mr. President, we delivered for your father. We will deliver for you. And I predict while the vote was a margin of five in 91, it'll be a stronger bipartisan margin this time. And as the Congress closed the ranks behind that historic debate,